Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. Uh, and today we'll be playing a tournament battle, okay? Uh, this tournament battle, in fact, is actually their official 5th anniversary tournament. Okay, many players are going for a medal in this tournament because it's super rare and super unique. It's the only... Uh, tournament that is their fifth anniversary uh, but anyways collecting the containers as usual and if you guys have uh, already noticed these containers have not been giving me many resources okay look I just collected that resource container but I barely got any resources okay and here's an important tournament mechanic okay so you see this yellow triangle that is uh, on the mini-map pointing downwards to like a blue circlish kind of thing all right that indicates that there is a super container and it will drop right here now what is a super container you ask hey okay so a super container is uh, so the fifth anniversary tournament okay regularly drops normal containers and super containers uh, periodically okay and the time uh, that they drop is gets kind of frequent uh, as the battle prolongs okay but the thing is super containers will drop loot you can open after the battle uh, just like the Christmas tournament and the Christmas AI if you ever if you guys ever played that uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about Okay, meanwhile, these containers, they're giving me 45 resources, okay? These containers give me 45 resources, uh, but that's only because I have uh, plus 50% uh, resources received from resource containers, uh, of course, by my skill card. Uh, if I didn't have that skill card, the base resource this resource container would give would be 30. Okay, here's another important tournament mechanic, if you guys are planning on grinding this tournament. Each time you collect one of these small containers, while the super prize, while there's a timer that says super prize, uh, as you guys can see at the top of the screen, it says super prize, uh, and then 1 minute 36 seconds. Okay, if you collect these containers while that timer is active, the super container will actually uh, move closer to the enemy base, the drop location. So if the super container is already dropped, then you can collect all the containers in the world. But if it's still dropping, the drop location will shift closer to your opponent. And in this case, it'll follow this windy road down south, southwest. Okay. So, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Alright, so... Yeah, upgrading infrastructure is pretty much of a hassle since resource containers don't really give as much resources. And you gotta avoid collecting these resource containers as it will shift down the big prize. Okay. Oh, here is the big one. Okay, so this is the this is the big super container. Okay, this container looks big, and so it's easily differentiable from the other containers. Okay, and so I know this container spawned, and that's why I collected resources up here. If you guys have looked on the mini map, it would be evident uh, that I have been collecting resources after this thing has spawned. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay. And yeah, that looks pretty cinematic, don't you think? <laughs> okay, well, okay, you guys see these irregularly shaped containers, right? They don't look like the boxes you've been used to. Okay, these containers are called loot boxes. Uh, you can open these loot boxes after the battle ends. Uh, and they'll give you credits, tokens, gold, even boosts, sometimes even speed ups, I think. Okay, but these. These loot boxes are really valuable, and as you guys can see, there's a blue box, there's a red box, and there's a gold box. Uh, 
these tiers are pretty differentiable. Uh, blue being the worst tier, red being the most, uh, the middle tier, and then gold being the best tier. Uh, as known, of course, blue is always the worst, gold is always the best. Okay, uh, it goes for token boxes, uh, add crates, uh, so yeah, it's pretty constant. So yeah, Gear Games has been putting constant work. Okay. So yeah, upgrading my base, of course, and we scout our opponent. We can see that he is building a bunker. Uh, there might even be a possible bunker up there. Hammer production and and I think that's HQ level three. Yeah, that's HQ level three. Yeah, he was just constructing it. That's why it looked weird. All right, so that's HQ level three. He got it faster than I did, of course. So I gotta be wary about that. But of course, I'm gold boosting, so I think it'll be easy for me to catch up. Okay, look at that salt. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the super container to drop with a few units over here on standby. Uh, but of course, I have no doubt he's going to come with an entire army to attack, uh, to attack this small... Uh, unit or group group of units yeah okay i'm avoiding to collect this container as since the timer is on the drop location of the super container will shift towards the enemy base and i don't want that happening because i want the loot okay and so let's fast forward okay so it looks like our opponent is attacking i already have a jaguar here some coyotes and porcupines Okay. Mm-hmm. This guy's gold boosting with the Zeus, because, yeah, you can see the range. Usually, Zeus doesn't have that strong range. Uh, actually, I think Zeus does have that range at this rank. Uh, I'm rank 21, so Zeus has that 7.5 cell range. Meanwhile, my Jag has an 8.5 cell range, and with a, with a boost, it becomes 9.5. Okay, so, yeah, trying to avoid those containers, accidentally pick that container up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Putting on that vehicle scouting boost, so my Jaguars will not get too close before sieging up, uh, defeating the purpose of the sieged Jaguar. Okay, trying to engage the center Zeus to see if I can deal the splash damage. And come on, come on, come on, come on, take it down, okay, take it down, come on, come on, bro. Okay, I have to come in with my hawks to finish off these use. And nice, two pickoffs, but as we can see, the super container has already spawned. And, yeah, super containers are actually visible in the fog of war. Okay, just like normal containers uh, after discovery, but I think that super containers can be visible even if you don't discover them. Uh, and what I mean by discovery is that uh, if you scout the enemy base, you basically quote unquote discovered their buildings and so it'll remain in the fog of war. That's what I would mean by discovery, but I think the super container will remain uh, anyways. Dealing as much damage with my hawk as possible, so I can get that clustered uh, AOE effect. Yeah, I just stumbled on my own words. <laughs> okay, so we can see that he's collecting these containers, uh, and he has a torrent. So we gotta be wary about that, since torrents are pretty strong, firepower-wise. Okay. Okay, come on. Oh, no, no, don't collect. No. Ah, the timer came as soon as I started pressing those things, so I accidentally moved the drop location closer to the base. I didn't mean it. It was unintentional, but mistakes happen. Okay, so he's putting up another assault vehicle factory, so I fear that he might be HQ level 4 and starting to mass produce some uh, 
some Zeus. Meanwhile, he does have a pretty good standing army consisting of uh, three Zeus, two Torrents, and a couple of Assaults. Meanwhile, I got three Jaguars and just five Porcupines. I haven't really been mass producing anything. Okay, now that I've been upgrading to HQ level 4, I put down even more assault vehicle factories in order to uh, mass produce some Jaguars. Okay, keep going. Fast forward a little bit faster. Okay, and so I, I come in here with Hawks. Of course, I lose one. Uh, I basically just come in here just to see what he has. Uh, what units he has, and apparently he's got a bunch of typhoons. Uh, pretty worthwhile, pretty noticeable, so I won't be attacking anytime soon. Okay, so you guys can see that I've been collecting these containers since uh, I don't really care. The drop location was already super close to his base, and he's pretty fortified, so no reason to come in and attack and attempt to grab the super container. And so I just shift the, the location of the super, super container uh, closer to his base while getting resources myself. Okay, so he'll be distracted by the super container while I try to make somewhat of an effort to attack his base. Got that vehicle production on, so yeah. And at this point I'm trying to produce units and move them to the left side of the base, uh, of the map. Uh, so then I can come this way, come through this passageway and attack his base. But darn the cyclone comes right in here and yeah. Look at the cyclone. Another cyclone here. I don't see the cyclone. Come on, kill it. Kill it, rifleman. Kill it. Okay, okay, come on. Nice, nice. Okay, where's the cyclone? There it is. Hmm. He already scouted my base, it's not a, yeah, not an effective attack. But anyway, since he had that cyclone here, and he scouted my jaguars, I'm going to have to move my jaguars over here. Because as that, as you guys saw, a little, a little weird hawk come over here, that was actually a scout on Blue's base. And we can see that he's moving units over here and is fortifying this area. Okay, meanwhile, he only has two Zeus factories, but don't don't forget that he has a Torrent factory. So, yeah, gotta be a bit more careful about that. Oh, okay, so I, there was a cyclone over here. Uh, I think he tried to see where my units are at. Okay, but I think I fished out that cyclone just in time. Okay, so me scouting his base, uh, okay, HQ level 5, but I don't see any other activity, so he must be, he must have his army moving somewhere, and I think it's moving over here. Okay, so yeah, just trying to destroy this Zeus, one more shot, one more shot, nice, okay. Okay, so let's get this super container. Oh, 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 he has a full army coming this way. How many Zeus is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's eight Zeus and five torrents. Eight Zeus, five torrents. Okay. Meanwhile, I got like 20 Jaguars. Okay, instead of moving my Jaguars to defend this attack, which I know I won't be able to defend because he has torrents. I instead move over here on the counter attack. Okay, and I put one construction yard here so I can start uh, moving my base on top of the hill as a as a kind of emergency measure. Okay, so at this point he's starting his attack, and I put my hawks on patrol mode just in case. Okay, and so now I'm starting the attack. Sieging my Jaguars and dealing that AoE damage. Very nice. 
Okay, and in no time, his base defenses are gone. Keep in mind, this is like 20 Jaguars. My army? This is like 20 Jaguars compared to 8 Zeus. Uh, well, now he has 10 Zeus. 10 Zeus, 3 Torrents. Okay, so... Which is gonna win? You tell me. 10 Zeus and 3 Torrents or 20 Jaguars? We obviously don't know it's the 20 Jaguars because Jaguars are simply... They have more firepower than Zeus, actually. The only reason Zeus wins against Jaguars is because of the weak HP Jaguars have. But other than that, Jaguars uh, outperform them in firepower. Okay, so looks like he's building construction yard here, so he's probably going to move his base here. But unlike him, I've already moved my base here. Yeah, and meanwhile, he's still trying, he's still, uh, you know, suffering, just trying to destroy this base. And I'm almost done destroying his base. Okay, I put these two Jaguars on siege mode, just in case he were to rebuild his HQ again. But, under, other than that, I mean, it's a good game. Look at this, I still got the, I still got a pretty big base. Like, three supply centers, two power plants. This is a pretty good base. Other than, like, like this. Look at this. This is a functioning base. If I were to upgrade my HQ and maybe put some barracks down, I would be able to pump out units. But he has no base. So it's a good game. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.